Hello. I'm just going over what we did today. So, um, from yesterday, uh, we added this top steel. And when we just set these anchor bolts, all these anchor bolts get set in here and locked into this template. So they're right where they're supposed to be. Okay. That holds the base plate of the column down. And then um, what else we do? We did our chamfer strip today. That's this chamfer strip. Let me see if I can get under there. You know, it puts like a bevel on the on the edge of the found of the edge of the pore, so. So that's what we did today. We set these anchor bolt templates. We lifted them up out of the way um, so we could screed in here. We'll screed across. We're gonna pour it with a pump truck. So we're gonna set up a brace so the so the pump hose can be set up here and then just pour down in and then we'll screed it across and then we got a mag float and try all these edges smooth. Um, so that's why we, we lifted it up in the air here so we can get room and then this is the final height of the uh, The bolt, but it's not gonna look like that because when the steel base plate sits on there There's about an inch and a quarter of bolt exposed on top of the nut and it gets washes too, so Anyways, that's what we did we did these um, These get a couple of utilities in them so sprinkler zone line goes up on the roof and then there's actually a, a future chase for solar array on the roof and the bolts got to go in there that's the conduits another one goes in here for an AC unit which is up in the addition in the dining area and that's pretty much it we did that one we did that one that's all done and I got to get in here after and uh, grab these ground whips and connect up to the bottom of the anchor bolt with a clamp. But that's it. That's what we did today. Chamfer and anchor bolt templates. Peace.